This program is proudly brought to you by the Peel Dance Bar, Corner of Peel and Wellington Streets, Collingwood. G'day, this is our uh, blah blah blah. This is uh, a special blah. Uh, and we're not laughing, this joke is stopping right now. Uh, this is Deep TV, and we're doing this one for the subscriber thumb. Feed the fish. <laughs> and so basically, we really want you to call up in a minute, and like, like right now, for $31, um, if you're unemployable like ourselves, $64 if you've got a job, or $120, shut up, Michelle, uh, $140 for if you're a cat potato. But uh, what we're going to do today is quickly show you the kind of losers that uh, make bad TV. Uh, I'm going to start over here. Luke. Who are you? What do you do here? I do graphics and the newsletters, which have just had a fantastic response. Um, that's about it. And How did you get involved? Um, because I was doing a PR diploma and I was looking for some experience and then it turned out to be a really inclusive organisation and lovely group of people, <laughs> um, with a few exceptions. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I'm also producing um, trying to rekindle Queer Zone as well, which will uh, be good for new volunteers. It's basically what I'm trying to do with the show is get new volunteers in and also revamping blah, blah, blah. Great. Yes. Well, that's you, Luke. Now, keep going around. It's, it's like a Wednesday night production meeting, really, isn't it? <laughs> what do you do? You do? <laughs> um, I'm Kevin, sort of a newcomer, maybe been here six weeks or so. Um, just sort of finding my way around as to um, what direction I really want to... Uh, move in, but it's been great to like make contacts with people um, and generally sort of get a feel for where I want to um, go, which is mainly sort of in the production area of um, things. And hopefully, in the coming months, we'll have something to air. And also, your boyfriend's upstairs doing sound, isn't he? Oh no, that's right. Yeah, he's on. He's the technical wizard, which I'm definitely not. Well, that doesn't matter. <laughs> it's a relationship. <laughs> well, moving around the circle, Anna. Um, yeah, um, I've done bits and pieces of everything, I think. Wops in, wops out. Yeah, 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 a bit of a veteran now. <laughs> special treatment. So how many years, have, it's been four years now? Yeah, four. I think. Four years. So you were like a little 17-year-old girl when you first arrived mm -hmm. here, if I remember rightly. Yeah, yeah. And look at you now. <laughs> so this is what actually Bent TV can do for you, destroy your life. Um, <laughs> Kat, really, Kat, Jane. Um, I waft in with this one. Now and then, filling guest. Uh, I did a first show with Michelle, <laughs> and that was really good. And I just said, oh, health. <laughs> yeah, lesbian health. That was really, really interesting. And anything that comes up, that's that might have an interest in, I do. Yeah, I think that's really important. The things that come up, um, people just do things. We all help each other on our own and different shows, particularly fluff television. Steve <laughs> Anderson. I take offence to that. I resemble that comment. <laughs> <laughs> Television or the fluff, it's not the fluff television. In fact, we had a waxer on a few weeks ago to get rid of all the fluff. Um, what do you produce, Squeal? I produce Squeal, which is basically organising everyone to do their bit. And um, also Bitch in Kitchen um, with Paul and a few weather spots and that's about it really. But don't forget, before this, what, how do you get involved? Um, I knew Lindsay Kulath, um, and she told me about Bent TV, and I watched it, and... <gasps> is that how you pronounce her name? Kulath, yeah. Mm. Never, never yeah. Hi, Lindsay, if you're out there watching. Turn around that one. Um, and, um, yeah, she sort of encouraged me. I was cartooning at the time, and a, and a chef, and I thought, well, you know, I can use those talents in this medium, and it's really like running a kitchen or like drawing a picture. It's just it's faster. And every mm. Monday night, I've got another picture. <laughs> you know? Great. Well, Drew... Who are you? I'm just a bar fly that seems to find my way here on a Monday night. Hey, you also produce shows. <laughs> I'm sleep here on these couches. You also produce shows. Yeah, I produce, I produce shows for blah 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 every now and again. Not not every week, as you could sort so of tell. So, how do you get involved? How, how many years have you been involved? Two years. Two, two years. Two and a quarter years or something. Yeah, something like that. Oh, how bent was 
desperate for a guest, so they remember the Hellbent? Yeah. Mm. And they got it was hosted by Remy, <laughs> and then they got they so they needed, got shitty. So they got <laughs> Mr. Well, that's the day you became Mr. Shitty because then I cut my bra off and threw it in the audience and said I'm never wearing boobies again, and then I became a man. Like I actually said, hey, shitty, Miss Shitty's actually a man, and I'm really sorry. And I, do you remember I that? Thought you were a real woman. Yeah, not a lot. Of, <laughs> a lot of people, seriously, a lot of people really, really, really used to think very that, especially about true. six o'clock in the morning at three faces, and it's like you know the day after grand final. Day, you know what I mean? It's like no one slept before they had Oh, you're real yeah. pretty. You're real pretty. <laughs> <laughs> we'll come back to this year. Did you know about that crime? <laughs> 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 I heard it's your face. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. The only reason I'm here is because I've heard some disgusting rumour that there's actually a lesbian takeover. Yes. Uh, and I'd like to be a part of that. So that's why I'm involved with Men TV, even though most of the producers are often, if not all the time, totally shit-faced. But, yeah, that's why I'm here. <laughs> what's Ben TV producer? <laughs> yeah, what's, we're all producers. We all create That's right, stuff. that's right. The whole lot of us. Now, Vice President, Miss Vice President Lauren, leader of the lesbian takeover. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my gun? Yeah, exactly right. Um, now, just please subscribe, because Lauren needs to actually... Um, I need bed. Um, I, need, I need somewhere to go. Um, I need food. And, uh, <laughs> as you can see, I'm wasting away. <laughs> <laughs> Little black kid. She was at the glass house all last night. Last night. On Sunday night. We I think that was a new right? Oh, was it? Oh, I wouldn't go. That's a lesbian hotel. <laughs> um, but you've been involved since you were 17. Yeah. Yeah. Like four years. Yeah, four years. It's been <laughs> it's been a long four years. <laughs> no, it's been good. It's um I've seen some changes. I'm feeling a bit old school these days, but um yeah, I've just kind of slotted around and filled different roles and um, occasionally um, worked in production and I've done producing and and uh, sort of involved in I don't know just keeping it keeping it putting it together every week. But more importantly, on the board of sometimes. Channel Thirty One, you are uh, our representative on the board of Thirty One. The token lesbian, yeah. The token, yeah. The token <laughs> black, black lesbian, lesbian. lesbian on the board of heterosexuals out there. Got nothing the else to offer. Just tokenistic yet, because um, <laughs> well, Ralph's just really he's just an archetype. Really. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Ralph McLean's the president of Bank TV. He's also the chair of Channel Thirty One, and this is why we desperately need the money. Uh, it costs us eight hundred dollars an hour for this stuff to go to air. No one gets paid. Everyone's a volunteer, but technically $800 an hour. So please subscribe, and we'll do a few bribes later on. But we'll keep going around the circle. Megan. Well, again, I'm another token lesbian. Mm -hmm. I came in probably less than 12 months ago um, when the lesbian takeover was just beginning. I sit on the board of Bent TV, which means I kind of watch over the financial matters and the, the goings on, the business side of, of Bent. Um, and whenever possible, I try to kind of, if someone needs a lesbian on a show, <laughs> but, um, Megan, what are you doing on Saturday? Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lesbian. It's weird. We haven't got a lesbian. <laughs> Megan, 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 all right. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much what I want to do. I hope as you know, time allows me in the future I can do more. But of course you're a professional puppeteer. I'm a professional performer and puppeteer, yes. Yeah. And I work in television puppeteer? professionally as well. <laughs> hey? She's good. Puppet? She's good. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! No, we can't do that. Um, sometimes a friend of mine, Jack Shit, makes appearances. Yeah, a bit of a drag king. Mm. Not with that hair. <laughs> <laughs> now, Paul, you're not fluff talent. Who are you? <laughs> uh, Paul's actually a Tyler. Yeah. He's actually a worst <laughs> class Tyler. <laughs> Love the fluff talent, Paul. Oh, you are covered in shit. <laughs> 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 Please subscribe, $31, $64, uh, $130 if you're a couch potato. Uh, this is, this is a, like a quarter of the people on Beat TV. Uh, we'll come back to Paul in a second after that comment. Um, there's all the people behind the cameras, upstairs, the whole lot, but we'll go back in a second. Paul, tell us how you got involved. Um, I got involved, um, well, through Stephen as well. He um, sort of encouraged me to come along, but I mean, really, it was I used to um, sit there channel surfing and flipped on to Bent TV one night, and... Um, <laughs> to be honest, I was a little bit horrified that the people that I saw on TV were actually having uh, a, a voice for me. So I thought that I should get involved and, and um, voice my own opinions and, and have my own say, which is what Ben TV is all about, is, is having your own say. So. It is. Now listen, we'll come back and do this in a second, but we're about to go some footage any second. Um, but we're going to come back and meet the New Zealand group in a second. If the footage doesn't happen, the footage isn't happening now, so we're going to keep going around the circle. This is community television. Please subscribe. $31, $64. Or, no, we're going to the footage now. We're not too sure. 
an ad. Continue. We're going to yeah. add. Yeah. Subscribe, ad. please. Ad. Subscribe yeah. and buy us a clue. We're going to Steve. <laughs> when we're going to Meatball. <laughs> because you're on the cam. We're going to come back and talk about the cam and just next time. <laughs> Up tomorrow, my <laughs> please stay <laughs> through <laughs> fast. We're out of here. We're going to be back one second. This is blah, blah, blah. Monday night at the Peel Hotel. Woo! We're at the Peel, but we're at the normal hotel. We're going to normally... Fabulous man. Uh, a Rob shot all this footage too. Rob's on one of the cameras here today as well. Uh, Rob, where are we going with this? It's going somewhere. Uh, this is the Bent TV offices. Uh, Luke, you're about to put the graphics in, I assume. Yes. Tell us about the graphics. Oh, it's very exciting. You just type in the words and, and press a button. And look, hang on. Cameron's there getting ready for plastic people. And um, we had Steve editing. Uh, this is a storage room. Storage room. Our set room. Isn't and that pretty? It's very pretty. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Bent TV closet. And here we are in the pill. This is downstairs, um, and we're looking at Rob right now at the back. Oh, that's us in the green room, the entertainment. This is where we do our production meetings, getting ready. And there's Paul telling complete lies as usual. <laughs> I have some to add. Um, this, yeah, this is where we're rigging the lights. Uh, Travis McFarlane's last day. Our director is leaving today too, which is a real pity. We're going to miss you, Travis, much. Travis McFarlane, you've been fantastic. We love you, particularly lots of us in very special ways. I'm really about to come back to the studio, I can tell. I said that for your sake, Paul. Uh, oh, there's... God, it's there he is. I don't know what's going down there. Some <laughs> local director in the space. I don't know. Hey, this is Blah Blah Blah. It's Melina, and we're at the Peel. This is a subscriber thought. Yes, $31 if you're unemployable like ourselves. $64 if you've got a job. And they're the two frequencies you screen in on as well. $120 catch potato. And I know you just all phone you because Stephen Anderson's just coming back from RMIT right now. And he's just been up there uh, telling you to subscribe. <laughs> and half of these people here were dashed out to a telephone room up at the Metropolitan Fire Brigade. Yeah, Why? ring me, you bastards. Yeah. <laughs> ring, us, ring us now. Ring call me, call me now. Uh, and some new people, some, some have gone. Lauren, Anna and Jane have gone upstairs to edit because there's another show we're doing directly after this one because it's Monday Night at the Peel. But there's a new girl. But before we get to the new girl, how did you get involved in what's your name? Well, my name's Tissa. And funnily enough, you came and picked me up at the bar and said, what are you doing? And I said, well, not a lot. How long have you been here? And he said, oh, three days. And he said, well, come along on Saturday and come and do the show for us. The real story is there were two lesbians from New Zealand who were drinking at the front bar of the <laughs> pub at the Peel, where we have our production meetings every Wednesday night at 6 yeah. So if you want to get involved, please come along. They're just two lonely, desperate little dykes from, um, you know, yeah, you wish. from New Zealand. You wish. And, <laughs> hey, they're now part of the family. You In fact, your girlfriend is... On that camera over there. Yeah, yeah, Are you two doing it? Yeah, yeah we're oh, doing it. Oh, good on you. How many lessons live in that shared household in Gipps Street? Four? It's five. Oh, five. Six. Oh, yeah, and then there's five, extras. Five. five. Oh, we can't. Uh, extras are kept over head count at the end of the night. Absolutely. So it's like a shared house. Disgusting, Drew. But Dan. Hi. Dan, you run PCAM or you're just about to give it up. Now tell everyone what PCAM's about. PCAM is um, what you see in between all the shows when we get uh, one or two people in to basically give you the weather for the week and tell you what upcoming events, talk about the shows, basically have a bit of fun. We get in there and just have a laugh actually, most of the time. And um, yeah, whatever we want to do, basically. But there's been, it's been great this year, we've had a lot of people, lots of new people are getting up there. Um, train them all up. So, and, and with Brit that's taking over now, yep. I'm sure she's going to have a lot of new faces as well. So, which is great. Yeah. So, part of the thing about TV, of course, is you come along, you produce your own shows, but you come along on a Wednesday night, um, and you meet everybody, and we all work together, and we buddy together, and whether it be from presentation to producing shows to editing to whatever. Um, and then, if you want to do an idea from there, we all work on the idea and make the show work. We're not a production unit. We do not do outside shows. We actually do stuff in response to the community. Um, Your what? stomach's making noises. <laughs> Your stomach's making noises. No wonder after it last night. I thought it was too. Uh, Paul Eglinton had a few light ales last night, I remember, <laughs> right, at our sponsor's venue. Um, now, Big TV, how did you get involved? Uh, let's see, I moved to Melbourne from Sydney and, um, and I was just interested in uh, television production. But listen, so interested. What do you do now? Um, oh yeah, I'm going, I'm going to film school. Um, learning interactive design, so I'm going to make interactive film for you. People See, at home uh, to do. Dan the Dark got her knowledge from yeah, things, yeah. So <laughs> she got it. But there are other people like um, like Yumi, who's now um, what's she doing? And Rove. 
And Rogue? Rogue, but Rogue didn't come from Bent TV. No, he didn't. He's no. just Bent. No, because he's <laughs> yeah. he was using the same <laughs> toilets downstairs in Lonsdale Street. We're all using the same toilet as Rogue. It, we did. <laughs> we didn't go. It was filthy. Um, but look, there are people who've gone on and done really big stuff in television from Ben. Uh, your music classic. Um, who's that dark editor from? Oh, Julianne Goss. Julianne Goss. Thank you. His story. He said there was a lot of stuff on Ben TV, which was quality of commercial television. Yeah, yeah. And Julianne was one of the. She was the That's original the president of Ben TV. <laughs> Uh, and she's an ABC person. So there's been a lot of people who've come through the Madeline whole Madeline Swain. Madeline yes, Swain. Yeah. Madeline. Madeline, another one. Drop the names of the people in the past that are now making a fortune in television. Anyway, oh. This is your opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it. <laughs> yeah, it's certainly not us. Yeah, it's not us. But seriously, we want you to subscribe because Steve will be back at RMIT at presentation anyway because you're booking for tonight. Yes, uh, I did. Thank you. you. <laughs> That's all right, Dan. Mm. Um, so, but he'll, and we're going to be in the telephone room up the Metropolitan Fire Brigade taking your money. Um, now, we are on Coolan Nation land too, and we normally open the show um, and thank them for the right of shooting the show um, here, and that's really important. Now, Jess is this heterosexual girl over here who's flooring. Come on, Jess, come, come over here. Yeah. Show your face before we Come on, you pretty little thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she shares a house with Drew, she's the token heterosexual. Um, we don't mind, we slap her a bit, that's all. We share a battlefield. We don't yeah. share a house, we share a battlefield. Now, Jess, very quickly, without us running out of time. Has Hello, my name's Jess. <laughs> Um, I'm well, I'm listening at the moment. I can tell what the camera's doing. <laughs> 30 seconds, 30 seconds. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Yeah. 30 30 30 seconds. But I can, um, I do the hand movements. Show us some hand movements. Here, go on. One, two, five, four, three, two, one. I just tell the, the host or whatever who's there. And it's about to finish now. Oh, so three, two, two one. one. Blah, blah, blah. Monday night. Is it PCAM? It's PCAM. <laughs> oh, 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 shit. Uh, please ring. Please ring. $31, $64, $120 if you have to pay. Because Paul needs some help. That Paul needs uh, his help. Please. You guys are coming. Two, three. Blah blah blah. Monday night, the subscribers gone. The phones have been ringing hot. We know because uh, Steve just called up from uh, RMIT. In fact, oh, he's did back. Come again. back. Yeah, I'm the yeah, one's done. intelligent. Steve Anderson. He's just been doing a presentation. You've been watching him. Um, and the reports from the phone room at the Metropolitan Fire Brigade are: Will you leave that man alone? Please. People are ringing in. Why are we not? No, we need more people to ring in, please. Ring me, call me, call me now. But there's a bribe. Drew yeah. dash Miss Shitty. What are you going to do? I've, I've made the suggestion, the offer, that I'll cut my hair to a pretty boy haircut, like a vanilla road haircut. Oh, not that soon. Yeah, yeah, for a thousand dollars. Thousand dollar donation. And I will cut my hair. Okay. Oh, and I was yeah. like, wow, it's oh, like, dear. that's serious, like, this is serious growth here. But that's your whole performance act. And Graham will, will get shit It'll all be gone. <laughs> But, no, you know, we will not do that. Um, there's no way. Listen, before we come back to thousand dollars, so when you get a presentation and next segment, you come back and tell us what's going on. Yes. Great. A thousand dollars. What do you do here? What do I do? I work behind the cameras and I film you guys. And I'm looking at doing some editing soon, and hopefully I'll be taking over your job. Of course. <laughs> of course someone's <laughs> going to take over. Yeah. But hang on, Don. Didn't we give you that fabulous camera workshop? We did. We did. It's basically, you walk into the place and you go, that's the camera, this is how it works. <laughs> and you're on television, yeah. that quickly. And that's simple. So please, if you want to get involved, please do. And Jess, you're flooring from here for the rest of the show. Yep, I am. And that sound's going into the microphones and giving us feedback, but that's okay. But yep. we actually need better quality microphones. Please, $800 an hour to broadcast, to send this stuff up into the big ether of the sky and back again. And that's... Graham, what's that $800 an hour? Like, where's that come from? What's that um, cost? Transmission in? costs, 
um, the actual equipment to transmit it, like where you are at RMIT, yeah. um, all that set up and stuff. I know it's not on dressing rooms and refreshments before. No, <laughs> no. We, we did, wish. We Make up artists. Or in our fabulous <laughs> green room. Make up. No, it's actually, that's only the real cost of putting it to air. No, it's, it's, oh, listen, by the way, hello, Maliana. Welcome to Australia. Uh, yay! Yeah, I have to say, anyway, welcome to this morning today. I know. Um, now, tell us about squirrels. Pleasure to have you fluff people on the series. <laughs> <laughs> um, squirrel, now you just finished squirrel and you've just done PCAM. Yes. Um, now think about what show you, the guest you just had on. Oh God, where's my diary? I can't exactly. remember. We actually, oh yeah. I can't tell you that, Graham. Secret Did you watch? Anyway. Yeah, it was fan. I always watch Squirrel. <laughs> I find Squirrel very informative. Oh, you climatised on a Monday night. I, I find... It's only night in. <laughs> I find the level of conversation on Squirrel very true. I do like the fact um, that the um, Bean News, um, MCV, Lesbiana and Jaw are actually working with us mm. as well. And that's a really important it's thing. It's important for a like, like, whole range of people. Yes. Yeah. Like, people who aren't, who aren't in directly involved in the scene or whatever to get sort of bits of information from lots of other sources as yeah. well. Because they've all got their own agenda, yeah. but their agenda is our agenda. Yeah. All of us. Yeah. That's why I come and get involved. That's what I find with um, uh, the Bent Collective anyway, is that we are a real, uh, a, a very diverse group. There are people that are uh, non-scene, mm. um, you know, don't um, get out and about mm. in, in the usual groups that some of other people do <laughs> in this establishment. But we do, we really have a, a huge, we've got transgenders, transsexuals, you know, the whole... Black whole, people, yellow black, people, old black, people, Even young you, people. Graham. So there even Ralph go. McLean. <laughs> now, actually, if one wants, I'll, I'll make a deal here. Keep Ralph off television, I reckon. He's chairing 31, he's president of Ben. You don't want that fat old man on He doesn't television. actually like coming on telly. I beg him to come on school because he's he quite doesn't. good. But yeah. I reckon we should like uh, a bribe to keep Ralph off. $200. $100? Yeah. Or $300 oh. to keep Ralph on. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's a deal. Yeah. Oh. $100 to yeah. get him off or 300 to keep him on. Please ring 9663-5831, 9663-5831, and your phone call will be taken by one of us, magically, at the fire station. In fact, who's on the Monday night? One minute. Uh, who's on the um, on the Monday night? Who put their name down to be on this Monday night? Uh, I think I'm right. Paul, ring Paul. And, and, and I will be as well. I think I might be there as well. Megan may be there. So this is your... You've got a uh, real opportunity to meet Ralph people over the telephone. A telephone. A telephone. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, give so we make, make make bad television or something like that. <laughs> if you want to see my slave dance naked on television, I'll, I'll, I'll bring him in. No, 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 no. Yeah, that's real, no, really, don't. really, actually. Oh, $500. $500. $500. I'll force him, he's got no choice. $500. Yeah, yeah I'll get him, you watch him, he heaven. Do the puppet dance, do the puppet <laughs> dance. See, I love it, the old days revisited. So uh, this is a wind up, this is a wind up. We're going to go back to presentation. Pecan with Steve, um, Steve with me there, taking your phone calls back to RMIT. We're at the Peel and Collingwood. We're about to go to RMIT uh, for the subscriber thon. 9663, 9663, Monday night, we're at the Peel and Stephen's crawling back from RMIT down to Collingwood to the Peel. Um, the Peel's important to us, like all sponsors. Um, the Peel, DTs and lots of others, um, and particularly for the space and the cash we get. Because the cash we get um, gives us this fabulous equipment. I'm going to tell you right now, we'll show the cameras in a second. This is the um, Melbourne State College 
um, equipment from 1974. This is what we're using to make bad television. <laughs> uh, the lights. Well, the, the, the no, lights. The no lights. The the lights. The lights. Oh, yeah, we don't camera. know what to look at. That's why the camera operator is waiting. You can look at the monitor over there. Yeah, and see. You work out that you're on that camera. Yeah. Yeah. You can't your eyes. Or yeah. someone that's standing behind there doing that. doing that. Or Jess is like doing something. Or Steve's doing something on Squirrel and directing Paul. It's just community television, but we desperately need to involve. $31 if you're on wage, $64 if you've got a job, $120 job. if you're a business or a couch potato, 9663 5831. Not now how the phone And that going? is the number of Channel 31, not Bent TV. Correct. Bent TV is a different number, but we are part of Channel 31, as are the other groups. Yeah. You know, the, the African show and the, the Christian show and the Hungarian Do now. Show and that's still that show where the guy just plays the drums for half an hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's 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 $800. Good. That's a lot of money, isn't it? But that's for an hour. Well, that's what it costs in transmission costs and the actual equipment. So, I mean, that's like a lot of hours every week. A lot of cash. I mean, you consider, you know, we're broadcasting. In fact, Channel 31 Melbourne is the only one that's broadcast seven days a week. Yeah. And the only alternative voice. Um, and we are sending shows. Um, to other states, and like we can't talk about the other stuff in the future. But we Graham, won't. I heard that um, producers, like in real television, earn about eighty to a hundred thousand dollars a year. That's absolutely true. Well, hello, hi me. No, I'm, I'm Ben TV committed. Yeah, but hundred thousand dollars a year. You think about all those people, like when we have any feeling on. I mean, they don't, I don't think they get paid that much as actors, but like we have a lot of paid talent that come along, like Val Jalay. And if you're on the prisoner girls, I mean, they all have their agendas of their charities that promoting, but they come on and they support us and they pal around with us. And like, I mean, professionals walking into an environment with us bunch of losers, you know, using their words. Um, you know, I think that's pretty good that we get support from oh, it is. from the outside community. And the whole thing is because it means that we've got a voice. Yeah. Um, you know, like recently we had the Out Black. Um, yeah, down the thing that we, that we put, yeah, that we put all through Squeal. Now, Out Black wouldn't have an opportunity to reach um, the community apart from, say, the gay papers. Nothing wrong with gay papers. We love them. But, like, you read a little line or a little story, you look at it, eh, you know what I mean? Television, you can sit at home. You don't have to have any evidence. So if you're closeted or curious or, you know, whatever. Experimenting. Half time, half -time. Um, thank you, It means that you can flip into anything wearing and a dress. Watch, and the amount of people out in the public that come up to all of us and say... Oh, saw you on yeah, TV the other true, night, yeah. or you know, I've had people come it's up and say they're seeing on weather and Serbian TV presents. Oh, I think there's flies everywhere. Do they? Um, <laughs> <laughs> they tend to avoid me. Is it me? Oh, <laughs> Allegedly, they avoid me. Uh, listen, there's a new boy here, uh, John. You, uh, you were dressed up like a poof. Um, <laughs> you were doing a new show called Plastic People. Yeah, that's Tell us correct. About the new show. All right, what can I say about plastic people? Well, <laughs> <laughs> all right, it's. Along the lines, it's meant to be like French and Saunders. It only goes for 15 minutes. It's Ben TV style. It's basically what we used to do for Queer Zone, except it's a whole show that's dedicated to it. Um, so basically, we're just making comedy, really, that just isn't that funny. <laughs> We're all laughing. So, uh, well, we Thank haven't you. seen it yet, but we're looking forward to it. Now, you've been involved in Beth how many years now? Oh, John? about a year and a bit. Now, you were 12 when you arrived, Brandon <laughs> Whiteley. Now, well, how old were you? 16 or something? 16, 17, about that. Then, how many years has it been now? Oh, three, I think. And you, two and a half. And you, two did, and you half. Did, what was the other show you used to do? Queer Zone, and that was about it. You've had a few spots. You did yeah. Opera and Squeal once. Oh, Squeal, and I think I helped with Hellbent once or twice. Bit as well yeah. and all that too. Yeah. Bits and bods, bits and bods. So once again, seriously, there are there are fluff children like little Johnny, <laughs> two adults like us three, um, and we all yeah, do the same right. thing. <laughs> and how many people at that yeah. age have got the opportunity to say that they've had their yeah. own show or yeah. they've done a comedy sketch on television? I mean, it's such a, a valuable asset we have here for our community. I mean, like... If this goes down, there's no more gay TV. That's exactly Hello, right. Hello, help us stay here. We need um, to help. And we are after the permanent licence, and this is why we need you to subscribe. A, we need the money, but we need to show the Australian Broadcasting Authority that we have this huge uh, viewership. One minute to go. And um, we are important. But like, we need money, but we also need 
volunteers. Yes. That is so important. Yes. You know, like, I mean, with More blah, 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 in its own right, like, we've, we've touched every topic. But like from our own point of yeah. view, I mean, we just need other. We need more producers. We need full producers immediately. Oh, absolutely. Seriously, well, we need seriously, doubles seriously. on things like yeah. if you criticise the shows and say they're crap, then seriously, come in and make them better yeah. for us. And that's yeah, actually what is. happened. Dave um, Truman. Truman. Dave Truman on Q Melbourne. Um, all these people wrote it and said um, what they produce is fluff, which we agreed absolutely. Yeah. Um, and create this whole What's debate. This exactly. <laughs> oh, this is the, this is the subscribers on the show. TV. I know yeah. the diet to be turned off in two seconds. No, they've already turned it off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We've got thirty right, seconds. Seriously, well, yeah. 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 by people being critical and so getting involved, cool. makes us better. <laughs> and we will. We actually really welcome him. Dave was quite blown out how critical we are of our own stuff. He's not about fans now. Yeah, but we need man of all that. I'd just like Manny. to say that David was the only nice. one that fronted up and did anything about it. All those yeah, other people true. have it's been over. sitting true. on their hands. This is uh, blah 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 at Ben. We're out of here. Subscribe on Stephen. Go, 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 go. We're going to RMIT right now. This, we're out of here. Steve, make the call. Get those calls happening now because it's going to happen. And he said, why are we doing this? Because we're waiting for... Are we going to show other people in the studio in darkness? Anyway, we're <laughs> across the studio. Yay! Yay! This is that. This is our blah blah blah. Yep, we're at the uh, Peel Hotel and it's Monday night. The camera's on. It's great. Um, Stephen is coming back from RMIT as usual. He's just been doing presentation. The phones have been ringing hot, so we're really pleased about that. He's been working very hard. He has. They're running back well. and forth. Back and I'm not forth. even wearing my Superman T-shirt. You're doing okay. And of course, Stopping off in the basement toilet. Oh, that's <laughs> Show. Basically, oh, basically what happens, Steve's just putting this set back up again now. Um, that's leaning on bar stools, which we lug every day to lug and set the whole place up. Um, and the mics are put together by Neil, who's upstairs and won't come Yay. down. Dan uh, does presentations now on camera, and she swapped with Michael. You were on camera before. Looking for Dorothy as well. <laughs> and nipple painting. Nipple painting, yes. Yeah. So, done a bit of pecan with a bit of uh, paint, haven't we? Yes. <laughs> so I've got my clothes on today if you can't quite tell. So, yeah. Michael, how long have you been involved? Probably about three months, I think, maybe February. I think I got involved and just started off pretty simply doing um, cameras. And since that point in time, just. Uh, got my head in front of the camera a couple of times and just tried a couple of other things at this point in time, editing, um, maybe even possibly looking at directing at some point in time, but, Great. You know, but we'll take it uh, as it comes, so to speak. But you're a housing worker, a welfare worker, anyway, what are you? Oh, well, yeah, I'm a tenancy advice worker, so I provide public housing tenants with advice in regards to their... Um, public housing needs and dealing with Office of Housing and trying to stop them from being evicted. And so these people in Housing Commission flats and houses, yeah, not public just housing. general... Okay, yeah. yeah, it's specifically focused right, yeah. at, at public housing. Tenants Union of Victoria actually deal with um, with private rental matters. Right, and if yeah. they're really good looking, do you say where you can come say them? Oh, that's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> That'd be corruption. But these are the kind of people involved in Bent TV and you're seeing about, oh what, 10% of them. If you come on a Wednesday night, but you've got to be a subscriber, of course, $31 or $64, call 9663 I'm bored rotten saying this, um, but seriously, if you come along on a Wednesday night, you'll see a complete diverse bunch of people from professional people who earn a lot of money. What are they? What are they? Oh, they're 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 oh,
These are props. <laughs> this is what you find inside a drag queen's belly. Hey, but listen, the membership gives you like Put them discounts here where they and stuff. Lay yeah. them along. Yeah, discounts. You know? Look, leave your breasts. Gone. John, this is a professional showing like plastic people. Now leave your breasts alone and put them down. She uh, took them away. Yeah, I, look, not only do you get a fabulous new bumper stick for the back of your car or your bike or you know your, your, your locker or your school bag, you actually get discounts. You're right. Yeah, no, At no, places yeah. like where you work. Well, beat bookshop. Beat bookshop. Yeah, fortnightly beating. Yeah, so you can go and be beaten up by a jury. I'll give you a 10% toy. discount. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so seriously, do subscribe. Yeah. Um, what are we? What shows are we doing after this? We've got Plastic People to do, then we've got another Squeal to do, um, and then we've got this other couple of shows coming up, but seriously, we need more people to get involved. Now, what are you going to do next? What show? Um, today. Yeah. Tonight. Tonight, Monday night. Tonight, tonight. That's, 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 <laughs> that's, 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 that's not a bad show. Um, I'm so hopefully looking at producing a lot, like, um, on perhaps a more light-hearted topic than some in the past. Um, well, you think the blah talk has been a bit heavy, like what? No, not necessarily. No, not necessarily. No, I just think as a general, like, sometimes we can... Um, which is fine, Brands that's great. Medical. Well, I think it's really important to actually have people confronting that political edge and yeah, definitely. talking can, about lots of really full-on issues. Yeah, when yeah. you consider the rest of Bent TV is just fluff from Grant's <laughs> point of view. <laughs> so, can I respond to that? <laughs> yeah. 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 It's yeah. nice to have a show like La where you've got 45 minutes to sit there and talk the shit, sorry for the pun, Grant, <laughs> talk the shit <laughs> out of, uh, of one particular subject. But in Squeal, we don't have that luxury. We've got 45 minutes or an hour yeah. and we've got half a dozen people on set and guests and footage and, and everything and more and more. I've got to fit it all in and like everyone ends up getting like one and a half minutes and just the fact that we're all there combined as one unit, I reckon that's what makes it a community show. Yep. Um, you know, I have a really touching subject like HIV or something really worthwhile like Out Black or, or somewhat yeah. fabulous like Val Jolay and I can only devote five minutes or so because I've got to make sure that everyone else gets a mm. chance to talk. This sort of a show, everyone can go, eh, 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 eh. don't you, Graham? No, I don't. <laughs> the, the guests. <laughs> <laughs> the, <laughs> the banter of the talent. Yeah, it's not us, Drew, in the slightest. No, not always. Um, but these are the people, these are the, the cleaners, the administrators, the, you know... Cleaners? Well, we've got, we've got to clean upstairs. We've got to clean our office. We really need to clean your We actually too. do everything. It's like really important to get involved. Um, and uh, like we've got these bunch of straight boys here today. Come on, straight boys. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Come on. They reckon they're straight. We're yes. sus. Why, why would you come from Holmes Glen? As a, are you doing media or what? Yeah, media, mass communication. Mass communication, and they've come to follow gay television. Look, kids, television. this is what Daddy looked like 20 years ago. <laughs> so seriously, subscribe and help subvert these young Christian boys um, to our cult. Yes, the big TV cult. <laughs> 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 We do need more lesbians. We do need more women. We need more lesbians. Yeah. 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 more lesbians. We do need more women. We need more lesbians. More lesbians on the show. We need more volunteers. People. We really truly yeah. do. We need, we need volunteers. We need unskilled people because we're unskilled, but preferably skilled. And like new Steve. We need money. We need money. money. Desperately need money. Can I say that you don't have to be gay, lesbian, or queer? That's all. Yeah, I mean, we have to say yeah. she's straight, so we anyway, she's queer. Oh, she's straight. Five hundred dollars, I would change my sexuality. What? Five hundred dollars, I would change my sexuality. There you go. Another bribe. Another bribe. Five hundred dollars, and I'll change my sexuality. Very queer, darling. Very queer. Thousand dollars, not two. So we've got a five hundred bucks for her sleep with the dog. <laughs> yeah. wind it up. This is blah blah blah. It has been a pretty weird show, but this is the seconds. subscriber thumb. Flat. Uh, Sorry, get out, the you. get out your social security uh, loans. There must be people out there that can get their phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give us money. I'm looking about waxing and tanning for a month, and you'd be able to yeah. see the third world exactly country. Exactly right. Exactly yeah. right. And those nice clothing. Yeah, look at us. Yeah. <laughs> this is Blart, we're out here, but seriously, subscribe and thank you for coming, particularly the Squirrel people. That we're so honoured to have you stars as um, part of the community of stars. Is that egg on your face or something else? <laughs> <laughs> this is not a shot. We're serious. Don't sit there, that's Graham's door.
This program is proudly brought to you by the Peel Dance Bar, corner of Peel and Wellington Streets, Collingwood.